Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. <clears throat> so, women's boxing, uh, another result in, another major result in. Um, Clarissa Shields, White Washes, Emma Cozin. Uh, all three judges gave her the fight uh, 90 to, excuse me, 100 to 90. Um, what can we say about this fight? It was Shields, it was, it was woman against girl. Woman against, that's what it was. Um, Shields really... <sighs> Totally dominated. I don't think Cozy won a single minute of of any round. I think had they been three minute rounds, Clarissa would probably have stopped her. Now, Clarissa's body work was pretty decent, and she's physically very imposing, and she throws lots of very winging punches. I, look, I don't want this video to sound like I'm you know, hating on Clarissa Shields, as they say these days. Every kind of criticism is considered hate, 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 hate. It's not hate. I've just got to say what I see, OK? And Clarissa Shields, I have mixed feelings about her because on the one hand, she's raised the profile of women's boxing, and that's fantastic. And I know a little bit about her backstory. She had it tough when she was young. A lot of these female fighters do. You know, she won two gold medals. She's made it big in women's boxing in, in the professional game. She's been undif undisputed champ at two weights. And but I've got to say what I see, and I've I've always felt that this. If you're going to call yourself the greatest woman of all time, you've got to live up to it. If that's your shtick, then you've got to prove it. And Clarissa Shields is not by any means the greatest female boxer of the current era. Never mind your Lucia Rikers and, you know, I suppose you'd mention Christy Martin, Katie Taylor nowadays. Um, Clarissa's promoted herself brilliantly and she has achieved a great deal. But the way she's promoted herself is to say, I am the greatest woman of all time. So if someone comes along and says, well, hang on, no, you're not. So and so is. Immediately there's a debate going on and immediately Clarissa Shields name is in the spotlight. It's very simple, not necessarily a new, but a very effective way of promoting yourself. She's not the greatest woman of all time. Nowhere near it. She's not the greatest female boxer in the world today. But she promotes herself very well. She's got a big fat mouth. You know, that sort of hot air, piss and wind vibe works. It gets people talking. And so it proved after this fight, because after she whitewashed Cozen, who was undefeated, but had fought absolutely no one. She gets uh, onto the ring apron or in the court just outside the ring and she starts talking to the interviewer. Along comes Savannah Marshall. They do a little fist bump, which was quite, I thought was a <laughs> interesting little precursor to what was about to happen. And then uh, Clarissa says to her, if you fight like that against me, I'll wipe the floor with you. Uh, Savannah says to Clarissa, if you fight like that, I'll wipe the floor with you. And Clarissa hits the roof. <laughs> she starts screeching and squealing and trying to make it all street. And Clarissa, uh, no, Savannah says to her, pillow fists. You fought a girl in there. You fought a kid, a baby. What do you think you can do with me? Do you know what? I agree. I see Savannah Marshall knocking out, beating the shit out of Clarissa Shields. I really do. And I'm a big supporter of women's boxing. I've got nothing against Clarissa Shields. What she's achieved. She's beaten some good women, you know. She's beaten, you know, Christina Hammer. And I think the win over Hannah Gabriels is very good. And um, who else have we got? I think earlier on she beat, um, what's the girl's name? Tori Nelson. She's She's got a win over Hannah Rankin. But uh, it's all physical strength. It's all raw aggression. There don't seem to be a lot of technique there. And Savannah Marshall has technique. Savannah Marshall hits hard. Clarissa don't hit hard. She's got, I can't remember how many wins it is now. What is it like? It's not 12 wins and two stoppages. You know, that's... And she's she won't be able to bully Savannah Marshall around like she bullied this Cozin kid around. Emma Cozin, 23 years old, game girl, took a lot of punishment. <coughs> Excuse me. But deserved the whitewash. So, you know, I don't want to seem like I'm disrespecting Clarissa because I do respect what she's done for women's boxing and highlighting it and promoting it and she's a very good self-promoter but Savannah Marshall is gonna wipe the floor with her so that's my uh, spiel for the day what do you think did you see the fight it was so one-sided it wasn't particularly entertaining but 
you know, well, Clarissa won. She did what she had to do. She won every round, but she needed to make a statement, a big knockout. And even then, Savannah and a lot of people would probably say, you beat a girl. It's woman against girl. And it was, in physical terms, woman against girl. Um, and Sky, by the way, Sky Sports commentary, oh my God, could they fawn over Clarissa more than they did? I mean, it was this endless parade of, of you know, superlatives and glowing adjectives and oh, I don't know. I, don't know. Uh, I mean, she's on these shores. She's in Wales. Yeah, welcome her. Nice one. You've made your appearance. Nah. Now, there is such a thing as objectivity in Sky Sports. <laughs> At least not at the moment. But anyway, what did you think? Did you see the fight? What did you think? What do you think of Clarissa? Do you agree with me or not? Who do you think is going to win out of her and Savannah? I think it's Savannah by several furlongs, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Let me know what you think. Thanks for listening in. I always appreciate your time. If you could subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate that. Hit the like button, share the video, you know. All support's always appreciated. Thanks for your time. Speak again soon. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>